Witch Brad makes the best down jackets. If you need my Witch Brad makes the best series, this is how it usually goes. I give a rating out of 10 based on different criteria, and in the end of the video, I tie up all scores and I give you guys what I think is the best brand on the market today. Last year, I made a video ranking the five most popular down jackets, and according to you guys, I miss a lot of brands. I read through all your comments and I tallied up every single brand that was mentioned and I made sure to include those brands in this year's video. I also read your comments about how pointless the noise test was. So don't worry, this year I'm taking that out. Instead, I'm going to be testing out the warmth of each jacket. So how this experiment is going to work, I'm going to be wearing just two layers, a t-shirt and the down jacket. And I have with me two infrared thermometers. The white one measures my internal body temperature and the yellow one measures my exterior skin temperature. So the first step, I'm going to be taking my temperature. The second step, I'm going to be staying outside for 10 minutes. And then the third step, I'm gonna be taking my temperature right after. And then we can see how warm the jacket really is. Last winter, I chose Moose Knuckles as my favorite down jacket, so I had to bring them back for this year's video. Competing with Moose Knuckles, I have nine other down jackets for a total of 10 down jacket brands. I'm gonna be rating each jacket based on its functionality, its fit, its warmth and overall value. At the end of the video, I'm tap all scores and give you guys what I think is the best down jacket on the market today. So keep watching. The Moose Knuckles Onyx Round Island Jacket retails for $1,395. It weighs 1,900 grams. The fill power is 750. The colorway is gray birch frost fox fur. And I got this in a size medium. Let's start off with the material of this jacket. The shell is made from 100% polyester. The lining is 100% nylon. For the insulation, this is made from 90% goose down and 10% waterfowl feathers. This jacket is rated at level 4 Canada cold, which makes this the warmest jacket that Moose Knuckle has to offer. It's built to handle extreme cold winters of Canada. This jacket also has a water repellent coating. Pouring water all over the jacket, you'll see that the water beads roll off the fabric instead of soaking into it, which is very impressive. Even when the water pulled up on top of the zipper, underneath it is still completely dry. So you'll know you'll stay dry under the harshest winter conditions. The insulation on this jacket is also very impressive. It's so fluffy that I can literally use this jacket as a pillow. Moving up to the hood, the fur is a mix of arctic blue fox and silver fox fur imported from Finland. It feels so soft and so luxurious, I can honestly pet it all day. Moving on to the features, this jacket has a total of 8 pockets. There are 2 pockets in the belly and is fastened with 1 button. On the side of the same pockets are an open pouch that you can slide your hands through. There's an added micro fleece lining in the pouch for extra warmth for your hands. Moving up to the chest, there are two slanted pockets with two snap buttons. These pockets also have an extra micro fleece lining for extra warmth if you decide to keep your hands in this. Moving to the interior, you'll see a smooth nylon lining. Moose Knuckle is known to have very creative graphics. Last year on their 3Q jacket was a graphic of a Canadian hockey player punching an American in the face, which I loved. But for the Onyx jacket, it is a very rugged lumberjack playing goalie and holding an axe. No violence this time. For the zippers, this have two-way zip, which is a huge plus. These are quality YKK zippers. There's a storm flap underneath the zipper and also one over it. There are two pockets. On the left side, you have a mini zip pouch that's just big enough to carry your phone. On the right side, you have a vertical zip pocket that blends in with the lining. This surprisingly can fit a lot of items. For the sleeves, there are zippers where you can adjust for a more loose or snug fit. There are also ripped storm cuffs that are both stretchy and soft. Moving up to the sleeves, you have this signature moose knuckle patch that's riveted on. This logo is made from super thick and sturdy metal. Moving up to the hood, there are two draw cords that you can use to adjust the tightness. There's a stand-up collar to keep your neck cozy. There are four snap buttons in addition to the stand -up collar that you can use for extra warmth around your neck. The quality and feel of the fur are my favorite out of dozens of brands that I've tried in the past. The softness is on another level and is hands down one of my favorite features of this jacket. The fur is not removable, but you can unbutton it to remove the hood. At the back of the hood, you have two D-rings to tighten the hood. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a nine. This jacket is packed with so many awesome features it has everything you need and more. Moving on to the fit, starting with some dimensions. Shoulder measures to 17 inches. Chest length measures to 22 and a half inches. Sleeve lengths are 26 and a half inches. 
and the length is 35 inches. Here's how the Moose Knuckles jacket fits on me. Last year's video I got a size small and was a little too snug on me so this year I decided to go up a size to a medium. First impression I think the jacket looks fantastic. The plethora of hardware in the jacket might be off-putting for some people but I think it looks great. It gives Moose Knuckles the signature look that stands out from other brands. At 17 inch shoulder width and 22 and a half inch chest width this is slightly slimmer than your average medium sized jacket but it still allows you to layer something underneath without any issues. The 26 and a half inch sleeve lengths cover most of my hand but with the rib knit cuffs it helps make the sleeves feel fitted and comfortable. At 35 inch length this jacket is by far the longest jacket out of all 10. It covers my entire thigh and stops right above the knee. This is the only jacket that will give you full thigh coverage which makes it perfect for heavy duty snowstorms. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up. The collar stops right below my chin. Notice how the zipper doesn't start right at the end of the jacket. It starts about 6 inches above the jacket. This is to give you more mobility and feel less restricted when you move your legs. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up and with a hood on. I said this in last year's video and I'll say it again. The fur trim on this jacket is by far my favorite out of dozens of other brands I tried in the past. It's not only the softest fur I've ever felt but also is so effective at blocking snow, rain, and wind from hitting your face. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid 8. Now let's test the warmth of this jacket. Alright, nice jacket. I'm excited to try out. This is the Moose Knuckles Onyx jacket. So my external skin temperature, 91.7. My internal body temperature, 98.2. Alright, let's start the timer. 10 minutes. So, now my internal body temperature, 98.1. Now my external skin temperature, 92.1. So my external skin temperature actually went up. So that's a first, but first impression, Right when I stepped outside, I can tell right away that this loose knuckles jacket was gonna keep me warm. And it definitely did. This is definitely a great winter jacket. So, great job, loose knuckles. For the warmth, this jacket gets a perfect score of 10. This jacket not only looks stylish, but it is one of the best jackets on the market for extreme winter conditions. For the overall value, I have to give it an 8. Moose Knuckle is not a cheap jacket, but it is one of the best investments you can make. That brings a total score for the Moose Knuckles jacket, 35 out of 40. We're off to an extremely strong start. Let's see if the next one can top this. The UBR tie jacket retails for $1,095. It weighs 1,000 grams. The fill power is 800. The colorway is black, and I got this in a size medium. For the material, the shell is made from 79% nylon, 21% elastane. The membrane is 100% polyurethane, which helps keep it waterproof. The inner layer is 93% nylon and 7% elastane. The lining is 85% nylon and 15% elastane. The insulation fill is 90% goose down and 10% feathers. For the features, what makes this jacket so special is that it is completely seamless. There's a lot of benefits with seamless. First, it will look more sleek compared to your regular seam jacket. Second, seamless jackets are known to be less restrictive and more comfortable against your body. Third, you don't have to worry about your down feathers leaking out through the seams. And lastly, it retains heat better to keep you warmer. With its DWR coating, it has a 20,000 waterproof rating, meaning it will guarantee you waterproof of 20,000 millimeters of submersion. Pouring water all over the jacket, you see that the water beads roll off the fabric instead of soaking into it, which is really impressive. Even when the water pulled up on top of the zipper underneath and it's still completely dry. The jacket also has a breathability rating of 20,000 grams per 24 hours. The material also has incredible four-way stretch for even more comfort. There's a very subtle UBR logo printed in the left chest side and left back side. 
For the zippers, this jacket has heavy duty YKK Vizlon zipper. This does have two way zip, which is a big plus. One thing to note the zippers are on the left side, so if you're right handed, this might take some time to get used to. There's a storm flap behind the front zipper. For the pockets, this jacket has a total of six pockets two zip pockets in the exterior with ultra warm lining. Taking a look at the interior, you'll see a very smooth lining. There are two large vertical zip pockets on both sides and two large mesh pockets that are very stretchy. In addition to its 20,000 gram per 24 hour breathability rating, there are two vertical zippers to open up that lining for even more breathability. Moving up, this jacket has a collar for extra neck warmth. The hood is very large to keep you dry. It has an elastic band around the edge for added flexibility. For the sleeves, this jacket does not have rib cuffs, but it does have stretch elastic that adds to the comfort and flexibility of the cuffs. So if you're wearing a wash, this elastic will feel a lot more comfortable. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it an 8. This is a very minimalistic jacket, but with plenty of well thought out features. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures 17 inches, chest length measures to 23 inches, sleeve lengths are 25 inches, and the length is 33 and a half inches. Here's how the UBR jacket looks on me. This does fit small, so I went up a size to a medium. After going up a size, it fits like it's tailor made for me. The material also has four way stretch and you can feel that instantly. Big bulky winter jackets are not fun to move around with, but this jacket is a whole nother story. The 17 inch shoulder width and 23 inch chest width sits just right. It still gives you a little bit of room and it's not overly tight where it's hugging you and the down feathers are being compressed. Lengthwise at 33 and a half inches, this is the second longest jacket out of all 10. It's an ideal length for keeping your butt crotch and even your thighs nice and toasty. The 25 inch sleeve length does hit my wrist nicely. This is how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar is just the right length where it provides complete neck coverage and stopping right below the chin. The material of this jacket is already very smooth so not having a chin guard is not a problem. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up with the hood on. The hood fits nice and snug around my head. The brim provides extra needed coverage. This hood does a great job of providing full coverage without blocking my vision. So what will I rate the fit? I have to give it a perfect score of a 10. This is by far my favorite fitting jacket out of all 10. This jacket feels like it's tailor made. The fit is great, but let's see if it'll keep you warm. Next jacket I have is a UBR Titan Parka jacket. So let's measure my internal body temperature first. It is 98.2. And now my exterior skin temperature, 92.1. All right, let's start the clock. 10 minutes. Skin temperature is 91.9 exterior skin temperature and then my internal body temperature about 98.2 so UBR tie and parka jacket did a really good job at retaining my body temperature the before and after temperatures are about the same so I'm very impressed good job UBR for the warmth this jacket gets a 9 I can confirm that Norwegians definitely know how to design a warm jacket for the winter. For the overall value, I have to give it an 8. That brings a total score for the UBR jacket, 35 out of 40, which ties for the highest rated jacket so far. Let's see if the next one can top this. The Orlay hooded thick and windproof jacket retails for $150. It weighs 1500 grams. The fill power is 650. The colorway is green and I got this in a size small. This is a men's version of the famous Amazon code. Their women's version has over 23,000 reviews and this jacket was also featured on Good Morning America. So I'm very excited to try out their men's version. Let's start off with the material. This jacket is made from 100% polyester. The insulation is 90% white duck down and 10% feathers. This has a fill power of 650. For the features, the first thing that caught my eye are the orange cords on the zippers. It has the Orle logo engraved on. Another thing that caught my eye are the pockets. There are a total of six pockets, two big pockets at the belly. The lining is the same material as the rest of the jacket. It has the Orle logo printed on. At the chest, there are two more zip pockets. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket, it has more of that Orle branding. At the right side, there's a vertical zipper pocket that's big enough to store your phone. On the left side, there's a horizontal mini pocket. 
on the top half of the jacket there's a thermal layer to help retain your body heat which is a nice addition something that i've never seen from any other down jacket brand at the sleeve there's rib cuffings to prevent wind from blowing up your sleeves this material is very stretchy and soft so it adds to the comfort on the left top sleeve there's a small orle logo stitched on for the zippers, this is plastic matte black zippers. It's very smooth and that orange cord makes it very easy to use. At the waist, they have these two zippers. If you're doing something where you're moving a lot like skiing, you want to zip this all the way so your movement isn't restricted by the jacket. But if you're not doing anything, just zip it down for a snugger fit around the waist. Moving up to the hood, it has an extra fleece lining for added warmth and comfort. There are two draw cords to adjust the tightness of the hood. In addition to the hood, this jacket also features a collar to keep your neck nice and warm. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a 9. There's plenty of cool features in this jacket that makes it stand out from other brands. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures 20 inches, chest length measures to 22 and a half inches, sleeve lengths are 25 inches, and the length is 32 and a half inches. Here's how the Orle jacket fits. This is in the size small and it fits well. I recommend going true to size. First impression, the jacket feels light and the material feels easy to move around it. Orange zipper cords gives it a nice subtle pop of color. With its 20 inch shoulder width and 22 and a half inch chest width, this jacket gives you enough room to layer something underneath. The 20 inch shoulder width is the largest out of all 10 jackets. Lengthwise at 32 and a half inches, this is the third longest jacket out of all 10. You can see the jacket stops right around mid thigh and provides full coverage for your butt and crotch. The 25 inch sleeve lengths are perfect because it stops right at the wrist. The rib cuff feels soft and comfortable. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar is short, you can see that it stops right below my throat. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. The polyester lining inside the hood feels very soft and comfortable. It also provides extra warmth around your head. The hood is very simple and straightforward, no extra add-ons, brims, or anything like that. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid 8. Now let's get on with the warmth test. All right, for the next jacket I have is from Orole. My exterior skin temperature, 91.9. And my internal body temperature, 98.2. All right, let's start the timer. 10 minutes starts now. Internal body temperature, 98.2. My exterior skin temperature, 90.3. Very lightweight, but it still keeps you warm, so good job. For the warmth, this jacket gets a seven. The interior thermal layer does a great job in keeping this jacket lightweight and thin, while also retaining body heat in mild winter conditions. For the overall value, I have to give it a perfect score of a 10. At only $150, Orlay is packed with so many cool and useful features, and most importantly, the insulation can keep you warm. That brings a total score for the Orlay jacket 34 out of 40. The Rav Valiance Waterproof Down Jacket retails for $395. It weighs 753 grams, the fill power is 700, the colorway is army, and I got this in a size small. The outer is made from 100% nylon with a Pertex shield. Pertex shield is Rav's signature hydrophilic coating that is both waterproof, windproof, and breathable. It has a hydrostatic head rating of 10,000 millimeters and a breathability rating of 10,000 grams. The filling of this jacket is 205 grams of nickel wax hydrophobic down with 700 fill power. Wrap has the insulation packed in squares without any seams and what that does is it eliminates cold spots and retains heat more efficiently. The one interesting feature is on the sleeves, this patch right here, it contains synthetic sheet insulation which is not as warm as down but handles moisture a lot better. Because if you're climbing or constantly in contact with with wet or grimy surfaces, this synthetic sheet installation will handle that a lot better. It also has velcro straps for easy adjustability. This jacket has a total of three pockets, two large slanted zip pockets in the belly, but there is no extra fleece lining for extra hand warmth. Taking a look at the inside, the lining is made for 100% recycled ripstop nylon. There's an 8 inch deep vertical zip pocket. At the waist, there are two adjustable draw cords. For the zippers, this is a one way zip that uses YKK vis on the zipper. This zipper does a great job preventing water from going through. It also has a storm flap behind the front zipper and this is for extra protection against wind and water from seeping through your zipper. Moving up you have a soft lining chin guard that is very comfortable. The hood has synthetic sheet insulation which handles moisture a lot better. There's an adjustable cord on both sides of the hood 
an adjustable cord on the back of the hood. There's a stiffened brim at the top and that will help shield you from rain and snow. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it an 8. This jacket looks simple but there are so many thoughtfully crafted features in this jacket. Moving on to the fit, shoulder shoulder measures 18 inches, chest length measures to 22 inches, sleeve lengths are 26 inches, and the length is 29 and a half inches. Here's how the wrap jacket fits on me. This jacket fits very well so I do recommend going true to size. First impression, this jacket doesn't look like a winter jacket. It's slim and not puffy at all. It reminds me of a rain jacket, but looks can be deceiving in terms of warmth. At 18 inch shoulder width and 22 inch chest width, this does give you room to layer underneath. For the length at 29 and half inches, the jacket has a drop tail design where the back length is longer than the front. The extra butt coverage is much appreciated. Thank you, Rab. The 26 inch sleeve length is perfect. It stops right at my wrist. This jacket does offer Velcro with the cuffs where you can adjust for a tighter fit. This is how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar covers your entire neck and stops right at the tip of your chin. The chin guard is so soft and feels great. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. You can see that the brim extends out like a baseball cap. The hood does a really good job at shielding my head and face without interfering with my vision. So what about I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid 8. Now let's test the warmth of this jacket. Alright, so the next jacket I have is from Rab. My external skin temperature, 92.3. My internal body temperature, 98.1. All right, 10 minutes. External skin temperature, 91. Now my internal body temperature, 98.1. So just a slight drop in the external skin temperature, but the internal body temperature is the same. So this jacket is very thin and lightweight, but it does keep you warm. So props to Rab. For the warmth, this jacket gets an eight. Definitely a solid jacket for the winner. For the overall value, I also give it an 8. That brings the total score for the wrap jacket 32 out of 40. The Pair Jumpers Goey Base Barm jacket retails for $945. It weighs 1639 grams, the fill power is 700, the colorway is Tubray, and I got this in a size medium. Pair Jumper is one of those brands that stand out. Let's start with the material. The fabric is made from 100% recycled nylon with a water repellent coating. The removable lining in the interior is a down insulation made from 9% duck down and 10% duck feathers. This jacket is packed with so many different features. It is one of the most unique jackets on the market today. Inspired by the 210th Rescue Squadron in Alaska, you'll notice a lot of cool features starting off with the yellow elastic strap that holds the heavy duty parachute hook. Yes, these are actual metal hooks. Not sure if it's actually safe to hook a parachute through this, so let me know if you're willing to wish your life testing this out. If you don't like the hooks, you can easily remove it through the snap button. On the back, there's a strip of nylon webbing that is fastened through four rivets. I've been told that this can withstand the weight of two men in case you find yourself having to jump off a plane with your buddy. There's another strip of nylon webbing in the chest as well. This jacket has a lot of pockets, a total of eight to be exact. Five pockets in the front, one zip pocket in your left arm, and two pockets in the interior. The two side pockets in the belly is zippered, but if you don't like zippers, you can pull out the flaps and now it's a button flap pocket. There's also fleece lining to keep your hands warm. Moving up, there's a skinny snap button pocket on the left side and a mini flap pocket on the right with lining. On the left side, there's a huge Huge cargo pocket. This pocket is literally the size of your entire left side. It's also extremely deep. You can wrap your arm around and touch your back. On the right arm is a mini zip pocket with four pouches. Above that you see the pair jumpers patch and this patch is interchangeable. It comes with another patch that's black. The original patch is sewn on so you would need to cut the stitching in order to stick the black one on. Moving up you have a huge hood with an extra two and a half inch brim extension to further shield your face from wind, rain, and snow. At the back of the hood is an adjustable strap that you can tie in the fit of the hood. 
For zippers, this is a two-way zip using YKK zippers. There's a cord attached to the zipper with a pair of jumpers block at the end. It also has a storm flap behind the front zipper. You'll notice the zigzag pattern which is very popular with bomber jackets. Take a look at the interior of the jacket. There's an inner quilted layer and this is where your down comes from. The quilted layer is 730 fill power with 90% duck down and 10% duck feathers. It is easily removable through these snap buttons. There are also holes in the armpit for breathability for you sweaty guys out there. There are two small velcro pouches on both the right and left side with orange tabs to give it a subtle pop of color. At the waist is bomber style, so you'll see that elastic waist that is very stretchy and fitted against your body. At the sleeves, there is rib cuffing to prevent wind from blowing up your sleeves. The elbows have an extra layer of fabric for durability. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it an 8. There's so many cool and unique features, but I think a lot of those features are just for looks rather than convenience. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 19 inches, chest length measures to 24 inches, sleeve lengths are 26 and a half inches, and the length is 23 inches. Here's how the jacket looks on me. I went up one size to a medium, and this jacket feels very fitted because of the elastic waist, but in reality, there's a lot of room in the shoulder and chest. With this 19 inch shoulder width and 24 inch chest width, this gives you plenty of room to layer something underneath. The 24 inch chest opening is the largest out of all 10 jackets. Lengthwise at 23 inches, this jacket stops right at the waist. This is bomber style so this jacket will hug you tight. One downside is that it doesn't keep your butt or crotch warm when you need it the most. With its 26 inch sleeve length, it does go past my wrist slightly. The rib cuffs does feel very comfortable. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar is extremely long. You can see it cover my entire mouth. There's no chin guard here and overall this is a very awkward and comfortable way to wear this jacket. If you're going to zip it up all the way, you gotta put the hood on. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. The interior down layer does add comfort to the hood against your head and face. Taking a look at the side view, this is a snorkel style hood, so that brim does extend very aggressively past your face. Because of how short this jacket is, the pocket position to slide your hands isn't the most comfortable. You have to pull your elbows back more than usual, making this not a good ergonomical position. The design and features are special, but the fit is definitely not my favorite. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a 7. From the oversized brim to the short length, the fit just feels awkward and not very comfortable for me. Now let's see how warm this jacket is. All right, next jacket I have is from Para Jumpers. Let's take my external skin temperature. Ninety-one point seven, and then now my internal body temperature. Ninety-eight point two. Ten-minute timer starts now. is up. Woo! <sighs> External skin temperature, 91.7. Now internal body temperature, 98.4. Pair of jumpers jacket is definitely a great winter jacket. My body temperature before and after is about the same. It even increased my internal body temperature. So pair of jumpers, definitely a great brand for the winter. For the warmth, this jacket gets a perfect score of a 10. The quilted insulated layer does a fantastic job at keeping you warm. For the overall value, you have to give it an eight. That brings a total score for the pair of jumpers jacket, 33 out of 40. The Canada Goose Winham jacket retails for $1,250 without fur trim or $1,450 with fur trim. It weighs 2,000 grams, the fill power is 625, the colorway is limestone, and I got this in a size medium. Let's start off with the material. The shell is made from 83% polyester and 17% cotton. Canada Goose calls it their Arctic Tech shell, which is their warmest material. On a scale of 1 to 5 in the Thermal Experience Index, this jacket is a 3, which means it can handle temperatures negative 20 Celsius and below. The lining is 100% nylon, the padding is 100% polyester. The insulation is white duck, 80% down, and 20% feather. Moving on to the features, this jacket has a total of 7 pockets. 4 pockets in the exterior and 3 pockets interior. 
The pockets on the exterior are very interesting. Even though you have two pockets on each side, there is only one zipper for both pockets, which is a little annoying because you can't access the top pocket without having to unzip the bottom one as well. All four pockets have fleece lining to keep your hands warm. Let's take a look at the inside. This is 100% nylon lining. There are two backpack style straps and this is for when you take off your jacket, you don't have to fold it and carry this thick and heavy jacket around, you can just strap it around your shoulders. On the left side, there's a vertical pocket that you can store your phone. On both the right and left side, there's a huge elastic mesh pouch that you can carry a lot of items. This jacket has a two-way YKK zipper with a very long pull tab so you can easily zip even with thick gloves on. One thing to know is that the zipper is on the left side so for us right-handed people, it might take some time to get used to. It also have a very wide sweater flap that you can button over the zipper. For the sleeves, the opening is 5 and 3 quarter inches wide and this jacket does have rib knit cuffs that makes you forget about the wide sleeve openings. It's comfortable and it locks in heat so wind doesn't slip through your arms. At the top of the sleeve, you see the Canada Goose Expedition patch. Moving up, you have a smooth fleece lined shin guard for added warmth and comfort. Hood is huge. It has a brim to shield you from snow and rain. There's pull strings on the side so you can adjust the tightness of the collar and hood. This hood is removable. You have to unbutton these two hidden snap buttons on both sides and then unzip. On the back of the hood, there's a buckle strap that you can use to adjust the fit. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a 9. This jacket has a lot of cool features that makes Canada Goose so popular. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 17 inches, chest length measures to 22 and a half inches, sleeve lengths are 25 inches, and the length is 27 inches. Here's how the jacket looks on me. This is a size medium and it fits small. I would recommend going up the size if you want to layer something underneath. First impression, this jacket is very comfortable. The polyester and cotton blend shell feels more softer compared to your 100% nylon shells. The nylon lining on the interior feels very smooth against my skin and it feels great. The 17 inch shoulder width is very narrow considering this is a size medium. It does hug your arm and shoulders a little bit too much. The 22 and a half inch chest opening is very comfortable and is ideal for me who has a 36 inch chest. Lengthwise at 27 inches this jacket does stop about 3 quarters past my butt and crotch. This jacket is labeled as a parka style on the website but it is definitely a lot shorter than your average parka jacket. With its 25 inch sleeve length, this jacket is perfect for my 5'10 wingspan. It stops right at my wrist and the rib cuffs does feel very comfortable. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. Notice how the collar stops right below my chin. A lot of winter jackets are a lot taller, some even covering half my face. But the Canon Goose jacket does allow you to get the full face exposure. The lining on the hood feels very comfortable against my head. Taking a side view look, you'll see that the hood trim does extend well past your face to give you more than enough facial protection from wind, snow, and rain. Overall, the Winham jacket is a very stylish winter jacket that you can't go wrong with. Time to rate the fit. I'll give it an 8. This jacket fits very slim, but once you go up a size, the fit will be spot on. All right, now let's try the next jacket, which is Canada Goose. So my internal body temperature right now is 98.6. And my external skin temperature, 91.9. Before we continue on with this experiment, I've been staying outside in the cold for the past two hours, freezing my butt off. So if you're finding this video helpful so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Being a small YouTuber, that will mean the world to me and it'll motivate me to keep making helpful videos like this. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's continue on with this experiment. Alright, let's start the timer in 10 minutes. Measure our body temperature really quick. So, can I goose my internal body temperature is 98.2 and my external skin temperature 90.6. So, the Canada Goose jacket, it looks great, but after the eight minute mark, I did start to feel it. I did start to shiver a little bit. So, uh, not the warmest jacket, but Overall, it's not too bad. For the warmth, this jacket gets a solid 7. For the overall value, I'll give it a 7 as well. 
That brings the total score for the Canada Goose Winham jacket 31 out of 40. The Eddie Bauer Glacier Peak jacket retails for $155. It weighs 800 grams, the fill power is 650, the colorway is Storm, and I got this in a size small. Let's start off with the material. This jacket is made from 100% polyester with a Storm Repel DWR Plus coating. Storm Repel is Eddie Bauer's signature coating that causes water beads to roll off the fabric instead of soaking into it. For the features, what makes the jacket special is that it is completely seamless, meaning this jacket will look more sleek compared to your average seam puffer jacket. Sleeveless jackets are also known to be less restrictive and more comfortable against your body. This jacket has a total of four pockets, two zip pockets at the belly, and another zip pocket at the right chest. Taking a look at the interior, there are also no seams in here. You have a nice straight and a smooth lining. On the left side, you'll find yourself another zip pocket. At the waist, you'll see two draw cords where you can adjust for a tighter fit. Taking a look at the sleeve, this has ripped cuffs that is both stretchy and soft. For the zipper, it has metal YKK zippers. This does not have two-way zip, which is a letdown, but it does have a storm flap behind the front zipper. Moving up, you have a fuzzy fleece-lined chin guard for added warmth and comfort. Just like the ribbed cuffs on the sleeves, there's a ribbed collar for your neck. The hood is very fluffy. It has two draw cords that you can adjust. This hood is not removable. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a 7. Besides being seamless, this is a very basic jacket. It doesn't have anything that stands out. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 17 inches. Chest length measures to 20 and a half inches. Sleeve lengths are 25 inches. And the length is 26 and a half inches. Here's how the Eddie Bauer jacket fits on me. This isn't a size small and it fits snug around my body. I would recommend going up a size if you want to layer something underneath. First impression, even though this is a seamless jacket, this does look very puffy. The material feels very soft and comfortable, especially the smooth inner lining. With the 17 inch shoulder width and 20 and a half inch chest width, this does feel narrow. The chest width is the second most narrow fit out of all 10 jackets, so going up a size is not a bad option. 25 inch sleeve lengths fit well and stops right at the wrist. The rib cuffs add extra warmth and comfort. The 26 and a half inch length is standard and stops right at your waist. Don't expect to get any butter crotch coverage with this jacket. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar fits a bit snug, but the chin guard does feel great. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. There's no brims or anything fancy, this is a simple and straightforward hood. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid 8. Now let's see how warm this jacket is. Eddie Bauer, let's measure my external skin temperature. 91.4. Alright, so let's measure my internal body temperature. 98.8. 10 minute timer, starting. Ooh, now. Cold. All right, let's measure the temperature. <sighs> yeah, it is cold. Let's check the external skin temperature. 89. Now the internal body temperature. 97.3. Any Bauer down jacket is a very lightweight down jacket, but Immediately when I step outside the first 30 seconds, I was shivering. It was cold. So this Eddie Bauer down jacket, definitely not a good winter jacket. For the warmth, this jacket gets a five. This is a good jacket if you live in California, but not built for anything colder than that. For the overall value, I have to give it an eight. That brings a total score for the Eddie Bauer jacket 28 out of 40, making this the lowest rated jacket so far. Let's see if the next one's any better. The Marvin Guys jacket retails for $275. It weighs 658 grams. The colorway is called Bronze Stargazer and I got this in a size small. Let's start off with the material. The jacket is made from 100% polyester ripstop fabric. In case you don't know, ripstop fabric is constructed so that it prevents ripping and tearing, and that is done by nylon fibers being tightly knitted together. The lining on the inside of the pocket is made from 100% polyester as well. This has a fill power of 700, 
with Marmot Signature Down Defender Coating. This down defender treatment is highly water resistant and stays drier 10 times longer than untreated down. For the features, it has Marmot's logo stitched in the left chest area. On the right back side, it has another Marmot logo stitched on. It has a total of four pockets, two zip pockets of the belly that features a polyester lining that will keep your hands warm. There's a third pocket at the right chest area. This pocket does not have any lining in it. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket, this is a puffer style jacket, so it has a lot of fluff in it. The fourth and last pocket is in the inner right side and this pocket is huge. It's definitely bigger than the front belly pocket so you can really carry a lot of stuff in here. At this sleeve this does not have any rib cuffs but it does feature velcro and stretch elastic that adds to the comfort and flexibility of the cuffs. On the left side it has the 700 fill stitched on. For the zippers this is metal YKK zippers. This does have two way zip which is a huge plus. It also has a storm flap behind the front zipper and this is for extra protection against the wind and water from seeping through the zipper. Moving up the jacket the hood features a brim that gives you extra protection against snow and rain from falling on your face. There's two draw cords to tighten the hood and design is very unique. All you gotta do is press down on this and then pull down the cord and that's it. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a seven. This jacket is very simple. It has all the essentials, but nothing more. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 18 inches. Chest length measures to 20 inches. Sleeve lengths are 26 and a half inches and the length is 26 inches. Here's how the marble jacket fits on me. This is a size small and it fits snug against my chest. I recommend going true to size or up a size if you need to layer something underneath. First impression, this jacket has a nice fluffy feel to it. This colorway is very loud. The orange is perfect if you're lost in the mountains and the search and rescue team is trying to find you. With its 18 inch shoulder width, this fits comfortably against my body without feeling compressed. But with its 20 inch shoulder width, this is the tightest fit out of all 10 jackets, so layering something underneath can be a problem. The 26 inch length is standard and stops right at your waist. Don't expect to get any butt or crotch coverage with this jacket. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar goes up all the way and covers past my mouth. There's no chin guard. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. It's a brim around the hood with extra length coming out at the top of the hood. The hood does a great job at not blocking your side vision. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a solid eight. Now let's get on with the warmth test. Next jacket I have is from Marmot. Internal body temperature, 98.8. External skin temperature, 91.4. 10 minute timer starts now. Measure some temperatures. External skin temperature, 89.9. My internal body temperature, 98.6. My skin temperature did drop about a degree with the Marmot jacket. My internal body temperature did drop about 0.2 degrees. This is a very lightweight thin jacket. It is a decent jacket, but I, I did feel the wind chill. I don't recommend this jacket for extreme winter temperatures. So there you have it. For the warmth, this jacket gets a seven. Definitely not the best jacket to wear when it's below freezing. For the overall value, I'll give it an eight. That brings a total score for the Marmot Guy jacket. 29 out of 40, making this the second lowest rated jacket so far. Let's see if the next one's any better. The North Face McMurdo jacket retails for $400. It weighs 1610 grams. The fill power is 600. The colorway is Vanadi's gray, and I got this in a size small. Let's start off with the material. The shell is made from 100% nylon, and the lining on the inside of the pockets is also made from 100% polyester. The insulation is made from 75% recycled down and 25% waterfowl feathers. For the features, it has the North Face logo stitched on the left chest area and the back right side. This jacket has a total of seven pockets. At the belly there are two large flat pockets that is fastened through velcro. On the side there is also a zipper pocket with a polyester lining for extra warmth for your hands. At the chest there are two slanted zipper pockets with a polyester lining. These are slanted so you can easily put your hands through and that lining will keep your hands warm. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket this is nylon material just like on the outside of the jacket and it is very puffy thanks to the down insulation. On the inner left side there's a mini zip pocket that has polyester lining. Taking a look at the sleeves it doesn't have the cuff ribbing but it does have the velcro strap so you can adjust the size of the opening. 
it has 600 fill stitched on. On the left side of the sleeve, it has drive-in stitched on. Drive-in is North Face signature fabric that is waterproof, windproof, and breathable. For zippers, these are black plastic YKK zippers. This does have two-way zip, which is a huge plus. It also has a storm flap behind the front zipper, and this is extra protection against wind and water from seeping through your zipper. Moving up, you have a fuzzy fleece lined shin guard for added warmth and comfort. The hood features synthetic fur that you can easily remove through these snap buttons. Also has two draw cords to adjust the fit of the hood. The time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it an eight. This jacket has everything you need for a solid winter jacket. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 18 and a half inches. Chest length measures to 22 and a half inches. Sleeve lengths are 27 inches and the length is 30 inches. Here's how the jacket looks on me. Before we get into it, I'm 5'10", 160 pounds with a 36 inch chest and a size small is my true to size. First impression, this jacket fits big. Even though this is a size small, this fits more like a medium. The nylon exterior isn't the most comfortable material, but you can tell that it can handle extreme winter conditions. With this 18 and a half inch shoulder width and 22 and a half inch chest width, this does give you plenty of room to layer something underneath and also makes me look buffer than I actually am, so no complaints there. Lengthwise at 30 inches, the jacket is considered parka style, so you'll see it cover your entire backside to keep your butt and crotch nice and toasty. With this 27 inch sleeve length, it does go past my wrist. This jacket does offer Velcro at the cuffs where you can adjust for a tighter fit. This is how the jacket looks zipped up all the way, the collar goes up to your chin, and the chin guard does feel very comfortable. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. One cool feature is that you can fold the fur back if you want less face coverage, and if the weather is getting extreme, you can fold the fur forward to give yourself more face shielding. Here's a side view and you can see how much the hood trim protrudes out to give you extra coverage. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a 7. This jacket has a very bulky fit and for someone with my body type, it doesn't look the best. Now let's get on with the warmth test. Let's measure my internal body temperature. So right now my internal body temperature is about 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And then for my skin temperature, My skin temperature is about 91.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's start the timer at 10 minutes. Let's go out there. After the eight minute mark, I started to feel the chills a little bit, but I think overall this jacket did its job. So let's measure my body temperature really quick. So my skin temperature, about 91.7. And then my internal body temperature, 98.4. So the North Face Memorial Jacket did a really good job. My body temperature is about the same as what it was before and after, so I'm pretty impressed. For the warmth, this jacket gets a solid 9. For the overall value, I'll give it an 8. That brings a total score for the North Face McMurdo Jacket, 32 out of 40. The Fial Raven Expedition Light Jacket retails for $550. It weighs 1260 grams, the fill power is 700, the colorway is unblue and I got this in a size medium. Let's start off with the material. The outer shell is made from 100% nylon and the lining is also made from 100% nylon. The insulation is 90% goose down and 10% feather. It has a fill weight of 415 grams. For the feathers, this looks like your standard puffer style jacket. There's a small Fjall Raven badge on the left chest. It has a total of 7 pockets. 2 pockets that are belly secured through these 2 snap buttons. On the side of those same pockets are an open pouch that you can slide your hands through. There's no zipper or buttons to secure this pouch, so it's not a good idea to store items in here because they'll slip out. Another downside is that there is no lining, so your hands won't be as warm. Taking a look at the inside of the jacket, this is the same nylon material. At the waist, there are two yellow draw cords with white leather tabs. There are elastic pouch pockets on both the right and left side. Moving up, your left side is a vertical zip pocket. For zippers, this has plastic YKK zippers. It is a two-way zip which is a plus. It also has storm flap behind the front zipper and snap buttons in addition to the zipper. 
At the sleeves, this does not have rib cuffs, but it does have snap buttons where you can snap it through the near or far side buttons for a tighter or loose fit. Moving up the shoulders have additional synthetic padding for more warmth. That's why on the back of the jacket, there's this U-shaped stitching. That's where the extra padding is located. The hood features a brim that gives you extra protection against snow and rain from falling on your face. There's two yellow draw cords with a leather tab to tighten the hood. If you're not using your hood, you can button it down at the back to keep it locked in place. Now time to give this jacket a rating. For its functionality, I'll give it a 7. This jacket does lack a few things that I want in winter coat, but the insulation placement is very thoughtfully designed. Moving on to the fit, shoulder to shoulder measures to 19 inches, chest length measures to 23 and a half inches, sleeve lengths are 27 inches, and the length is 29 and a half inches. Here's how the Fiore Raven jacket looks on me. Size small was sold out, so I had to settle with the medium. I definitely recommend going true to size in this because this is not a slim fit. First impression. I literally look like the Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. This jacket is by far the puffiest jacket out of all 10. The yellow adjustment cords of the waist looks very sloppy, and in my opinion, Fjall Raven could have designed it better. With its 19 inch shoulder width and 23 and a half inch chest width, this jacket gives you more than enough room to layer something underneath. Lengthwise at 29 and a half inches, this jacket provides full butt and crotch coverage to keep you nice and toasty. The sleeves does not have any rib cuffs, so the 27 inch length drops down my arm and covers almost my entire hand. One solution is to use the snap buttons at the cuffs so the sleeve stops right at your wrist and your hand doesn't feel like it's drowning. Here's how the jacket looks zipped up all the way. The collar does go up with my chin, but zipping it up all the way without putting on the hood feels awkward and comfortable. If you zip up all the way like this you have to put the hood on. Here's how the jacket looks with the hood on. The extra puffy hood does feel very comfortable. The brim does a great job with extra coverage but your vision is impaired because you cannot see what's on your right or left side. So what would I rate the fit? I'll give it a 7. This jacket is just too overly puffy for my taste. Now let's see how warm this jacket is. Fial Raven. Final jacket. Let's do this. Internal body temperature. 98.6 external skin temperature 91.9 starting the 10 minute timer let's do this Let's take it out. Let's test the temperature. <sighs> for my external skin temperature for the Fjall Raven, 92.3. For my internal body temperature, 98.4. The Fjall Raven jacket is definitely a very warm jacket. My external skin temperature went up by 0.4 degrees and I think it's because this, this down material is really good at retaining your body heat and even warming you up. So this is definitely a really good jacket for really harsh and cold winter. So props to you for all Raven for this jacket. For the warmth, this jacket gets a perfect score of a 10. The puffiness of this jacket might not look the best, but man, can it keep you warm. For the overall value, I have to give it an 8. $500 is a decent price point for this jacket. That brings a total score for a Fjall Raven jacket, 32 out of 40. Tallying up the final scores, here are my top 3 favorite jackets. If you're looking for the best bang for your buck, Orle wins that hands down. At only $150, this jacket is packed with so many cool features and most importantly, you can count on it to keep you warm in the winter. If you're looking for the best fitting down jacket, then UBR wins that one by far. The fit is so well crafted that it literally looks like you took this to a tailor. There's also so many cool features like the four-way stretch and water repellent coating. I promise you, you won't be disappointed with UBR. If you're looking for the best all-around jacket, then Moose Knuckles is the winner. A lot of jackets made for extreme winter weather usually doesn't look very stylish. Yes, I'm looking at you, Canada Goose. But Moose Knuckles found a way to both keep you warm and look good. This jacket is also jam-packed with so many convenient features. At $1,400, this is not the cheapest option, but it is definitely worth the investment. Here are the final rankings of all 10 jackets, starting with my top 5. And here are the next 5 down jackets. So let me know in the comments below if you agree with my results or not, or if I left out any other brands. And I do read every single one of your comments. If you haven't already, check out my video from last year where I compare the top 5 most popular down jackets. 
So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.